Let's get started with this. Randy Orton versus AJ Styles. 101. Let's start it. And already is AJ Styles in the ring. And already, these two going at it. The official needs to get in there and get some control. We know there's a lot of disdain between these two men. And we're seeing it right before our very eyes, before this match even starts. Now we're official. Well, they didn't want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally got things under control. All right, let's see how this goes Take here. Down, looking for the cross face, it's cinched in. Looking to free the arm and does just that. Ooh. Looking for a scoop slam. Ooh, no, nice from behind. Inverted DDT. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top. Oh, ho, ho, oh, my God. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of him. Oh, wicked kick Ooh. to the lower back. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, a dragon Ooh. screw. That'll destroy a knee. That's what ACL, and MCL both could have been affected by that move. All the weight down. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an and advantage. And oh, this is the bar. opponent to fight one-handed. Nice up and down this man. Lethal offense, but let's remember, the man he's locking up with tonight is phenomenal. Orton needs to sleep. And uh -oh. just that quick, the Viper can turn the tides of this matchup. Ooh, oh, nice power slam to this man. AJ capitalizes on that misstep. It's locked in. Get to the ropes. Oh, there, the there's that rope break for saving this done, man. But the ropes offer a reprieve. Oh, uncorked a big punch. He's one step Ooh. ahead there. Luthez press. Rapid fire right hands. Oh, Careful. Man, just do what he does best. Uh oh. He's taken, and yet he's still in this match. Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Ooh. And Styles is brought to a disadvantage now. Uh -oh. Yeah, Styles is suffering the brutality of the Viper. Oh, uh, they're Stiff in the ring outside now. I got it. Oh, his instincts are taken over. What he really said, that's my baby. Oh, what are you doing? I don't know what he was thinking of doing, but he was going to do something there. Precision offense from the Viper. The attack. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I missed that to the next first I was trying to thirsty offense the that camera. Randy Orton does so well. Counters the Ooh. Viper's attack. Styles doing what he can do to halter the beat. Oh. Could be a chance for Styles to change the complexion of this match. Oh, 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 oh. No. Uh oh, Styles clutch! Sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is, but they're not exactly. Oh, Is it enough to put Styles away? Two count hangs on by a thread. You do not get a moniker like the phenomenal one if you just lay down oh, and go man. out easily. What perseverance from Styles. Martin is going to have to keep his composure moving forward. He thought he'd put him down with that one, and now he's got to think of another uh -oh. one. Uh-oh. Bump handle. Gut buster. Ah, foot just stomping down. Bam. Mm. A sharp blow to the neck. The end is looming now. 
and he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Randy Orton is slipping, but he still might have an RKO in his back pocket. Dismantling the arm Ooh. in the corner. Gotta hurt. Boom! What a right! Gosh, setting him up for something here. Uh oh. Ooh. He's taking this to the floor now. What a shot! The Viper in bad shape here. AJ Ooh. isn't giving Orton any room to regroup. Ooh. Ooh. Look if I moved out of the way, that could have hurt me. And now there's an opening. Hooked up. And DDT. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Ooh, ooh. Whoa, calm down, man. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. Hooked up. Did it and the Viper attacking at a critical moment there. Yeah, this match continues to take its toll on AJ. Oh, stop right to the hand. Oh, He's yeah. starting to get the crowd involved. Landing the overcut. Styles taking it by surprise. What are we about to see? Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just a little bit tired from working today. Charlie's don't horse. mind me. And now I just start to measure Randy Orton. Stop him in the middle of the section. No one passes him. And there's a shot to his style. This isn't going to end well for this man. Uh, this right here is vintage Randy Orton stomp. Orton picking his spot one after another. AJ Styles uh -oh. suffering a potentially lethal streak. Oh, no! Orton might take it here. Pin. And it's over. GG. Here is your winner, the Viper, Randy Orton. So chalk up a win for them in this match, and I think it's safe to say it's all thanks to that fairly vicious attack we saw. I bet their opponent learned a thing or two in this one about watching their back. I bet they did. Next time it might not be so easy to steal the match. Alright. Uh, I didn't mean to go full screen of my sitting there, but alright. Alright. Three and a half out of five stars was a pretty good sort thing. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 608 pounds, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, the NWO. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. Yeah, I love the New World Order. Let's be honest, one of the legendary tag teams of the 90s. Uh, the only problem with the New World Order back in the day in the 90s wasn't how they were going about, it was how they were continuing. Like, they even at one point feuded with the, amongst each other to where it was like NWO Hollywood versus NWO Wolfpack. And for some odd reason, and I don't quite understand it, they would reform again. They would reform into the NWO. Yeah, it's crazy.
the most dominant group in WWE history, the Bloodline. And at a combined weight of 501 pounds, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. All the power, all hmm. the attention. Every move they make makes headlines. And every very like, move they make mm. continues their dominance. I'll be honest, I'm looking forward to this triple threat match. And it was and it was in the middle of this match that my stream that I was trying to do earlier did not want to work. You know, the whole bullshit about the my body, like the whole bullshit of internet quality taking a taking a dump. It does make it my thought of being the only thing available. On the faces yeah, I was a the pain in the ass. The bloodline is but here on a mission. I'm hoping it goes through this time because I really want to. I actually very much like the match card that we got going on for this for this episode. I really very much liked it so much. And now let's take a look at the new tag team of the Kings of and Wrestling. Combined weight of four hundred and eighty. Carly Race and Jerry Lawler, the legends. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. A tag team befitting two kings in wrestling here. Harley Race in the tights, Jerry Lawler, where the more... Where the more appropriate attire for a king? I almost want to put them in a match of attires almost, but I don't Tag know if that would be a good a idea. Underway. Multiple teams facing off, but there will only be one winner. Everyone competing at once. You really need to know the status of your partner and every opponent in this match. So here we go. Six man trio, uh, six man super threat tag team, tornado, tornado tag team match. Looking forward to this one. So yeah, whenever there's some action going on in the ring, outside of the ring, I will do my best to make sure that it is all caught on one sole camera. So that's what we're doing here. What the hell is that? Let me just do a kendo stick in the ring. Now here's Hall. And into the count. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. He dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. And any one of those shots could take you out from here. Oh, man, I'm looking forward to this match. I would be very surprised if this is the best one. We're in here tonight. And then they need to go wrestle a different match. This is the kind of match where you need to cross the line before the opposition does. Oh, oh God! Scott Hall going after both Jerry and Harley Race. Jerry Lawler and Harley Race, and he just smacked Jimmy Uso in the, in the head with a baseball bat right there. Oh, Referee's at a ton of three, four now. Referee's at a ton of five. That's what it kind of said. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. The oh, wicked kick to the lower back. He took a shot at King Harley. Oh, didn't miss. Yeah, well, watch his shoulder aggressively work the opposition. Can't prepare your face for Ooh. that. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. Uh oh, uh -oh. someone oh, spice a Harley race. Cover. And now look at this, the NWO going to work on Solo Sokoa. And now it's basically NWO versus the Bloodline right now. Instantly he has his shoulders up. How do he do it? Escapes in a nick of time. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. In full control of their opponent Ooh. with more in mind. Discus punch. Uh oh. Oh no, trapping the arm. Vicious stomp to the hand. Oh. 
Kowalski. So what was the whole point of having Nash going out of the ring just to get back in it? I could walk him literally in that bottom left corner, around that rope. bottom left corner oh, turnbuckle. Well, the most I should say. Not even close. Oh, oh, by Solo Sokoa to Jerry Lawler. Oh, boy. It's really fun. DDT. And he's out of there in a nick of time. Funny how they're going after the referee, but it's like it's just, it's just, it's like a trio tag team match. That's not gonna be what you'd expect, what you'd want it to be. Yeah. Okay. the victory. And after those other eights, and in comes Jerry Lawler and Jimmy Uso. Big boot to the 
Yeah, they're gonna murder this man in. Side headlock applied. Oh man. Oh, a right hand for good measure. Yes, geez, that's how bloody it is. Check his nose. Yeah, it's very bloody. That's a MMA, 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 type of stuff right there. Based on how, blood there, how much blood there is all over the ring. Look at this, there's blood right there, blood right there, blood all over here. It's crazy. And now he's got blood right over here. Jeez, bro. So he just found. He's like, oh, there's a good use. He's got him here. He's got him over here. Sidewalk slam. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, my yeah, Lord. Jimmy Uso just got him bloodied he's all over the place. That's crazy. Yeah, he's got to dig deep. deep. He's, I think he's the only wrestler busted open in this match. And yet he's got a lot of blood all over the place, dude. Seriously. Deep in this match. Jimmy is just, he wants it one more time. Now we see Lawler. And there goes Kevin Nash for the busted open. You can feel it. The place is rocking. The WWE Universe making their feelings known. Top rope. The count. Oh God! I missed it. Hold on a second. We got. We got to do that highlight reel. We got to do the highlight reel. We got to show this. Hold on. We got. We really got to show this. That's crazy. Oh, so many people were going down. Way back. So, he's going for the this could be no, this one should have been over. I was going to say, let's not hold on. Meanwhile, here's Nash. Oh, stiff punch. Scott Hall. Right uh oh. And there goes Harley Race cover. They're taking a sweet time. Look at this, they got two pins and the rest not counting them. There were literally two pins right here. And the referee, who the hell is Charles Robinson being a fucking idiot over there, not doing a damn thing. For some reason, he was just standing there like an idiot. Meanwhile, Jimmy no, Houston's over sure. here while everybody else is in here. Oh my God. Look at all the goddamn blood! There's so much blood in the ring, dude! Oh my God! And then Charles Robinson being an idiot, not knowing what the heck to do. This is just a small regroup. It's not somebody who's being a thin in this match, apparently. Fellas, I think this one is a uh -oh. to end. I agree with you, Corey. Boom! Big punch finds its mark. Harley climbs. 
what's on his mind. Taking flight. Oh, he may get the three count. Oh, wait a minute. The pin. Ref is not sure what the hell to do here. Got him up. These superstars have toiled away endlessly, and this crowd is on their feet in full of. Yeah, look at that. They're all on their feet right now. Scott Hall setting his opponent up. Uh, the outside the cover for the win. Makes a cover. Does he have him here? Breaks the oh. Guy. And the new one on a win. Here are your winners. Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. The NWO. Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. A win like this always makes me happy. I kind of want to hop in there and celebrate with them. What is it doing? Hold on a second. I have no idea if it's catching any of this. What the hell? Ah, oh, you bitch. Here comes our tribal chief. Perhaps the most dominant champion in WWE history. The head of the table, Roman Reigns. You know, if he was as dominant as people the say he is, he would not be needed to have his ponies when his match is born. Representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! Yeah, Over fuck this guy. 200 plus days as Universal Champion, the third longest reigning world champion in WWE history. Three plus years of dominance, dozens of successful title defenses. Yeah, it's got to feel like pure intimidation when you are facing Roman Reigns. It may even feel like victory is virtually impossible. No, Reigns is firmly no, really. established as the head of the table and has no intention of being unseated. You can well, love him, him or you can hate to do him, that or not. It's but gonna you happen must sooner or later. acknowledge him. A certified GOAT. Reigns that, is now an unstoppable force. First off, no he ain't. He's a piece of shit who needs some good help from his fucking cronies. Number two, if he's so dominant, why does he even need their help? Because the if he did, if he is so dominant, arrived. he wouldn't be needing any goddamn help like a little bitch. The That's just how it is with him. Ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. And 
and his opponent from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple H. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple-time WWE champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't oh. think anyone can take him down. I sure hope he understands what he's getting into when he steps in the ring with Roman Reigns. Yeah, Reigns' inimitable power could represent mm. the end game for this superstar. Mm. Oh, man, I'm looking forward to Triple H kicking Roman Reigns' ass tonight. The referee rings the bell and just look at Triple H, clearly determined and ready for action. Of course, Triple H is one of the most calculating, methodical superstars in the history of sports entertainment. Always has a game plan, always has the gear spinning in his head, and tonight should be no different. But the spotlight belongs on Roman Reigns, who has mm. redefined what it means to be a top guy in this business. He truly is God mode personified. Roman's simply on another level these days. He's worked very hard to get where he is and has no intention of letting anyone Ooh. come even close to his greatness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. He went right into that turnbuckle. My goodness, oh, is this even legal? Now. I don't think so. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Makes the cover. Strong kick out there. Nope, he is going to take this one. match as long and as far as he needs to. Yeah. Boom! Like a heat seeking Ooh. missile hit the target right on the mark. Hold on, we actually let me show the highlight reel real quick. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, look at this. So look at how Roman goes up into the air and just crashes down on Triple H. That is a botch if I ever seen one. Yeah, that was a bit crazy. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Oh, and now. Look at the story painted red on Triple H's face. Listen, Cole, you don't even need to ask what Roman needs to do in this one because Roman knows exactly what he needs to do. Assert his dominance. Yeah, so I just wanted to show that just in case you guys does. missed it because of my stupidity. Yeah, you guys aren't going to miss any crazy oh, moments that just may have happened.
Roman what do they say they, that you don't miss any crazy moments asserting his dominance, doing everything he possibly can to make the competition acknowledge him. That could be the trigger for Triple H to battle his way back into this. Time to play the game. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Oh, we're gonna grind the features off their face across the top rope. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Nice Ooh. suplex. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh, gonna try to break uh -oh. the leg. Ooh. Ouch. Leg breaker. To the gut, too. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Triple H is going crazy on this man. Muscling his way out of the submission. Hmm. Ah. Uh, just cranking the head. Uh oh. Oh, stomping away. The tribal chief has it cinched in. Oh, tribe. oh. He needs to hold a five, but Triple H getting out of it. Submission. Oh. oh. And now these two going crazy in the ring. The superstars rock. Oh, Golden really trying to leave, really. Come on. Yeah, walking away. Discretion's the better part of valor. Uh, how about calling it a uh, retreating? Wait a minute! Who the hell? Retreat. That's Santos Escobar. What the hell? This just went from oh the my God! What the hell just it's happened? Shoulder up before the count. It's unthinkable. So Santos Escobar, for some point. reason, came out Get of the, the ring. It just died Roman Reigns back of the room. What the hell is he doing out here? What business did he have out here, if I'm being honest? And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is too Oh, oh Superman got punch! He's got him! Dig it deep for a kick out! Somehow, someway, he is still in oh, this. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Y'all know where this is going. Where is it setting up, Michael? Here it comes! And it's there, Mr. The Mark! Triple H with a knee to the face! Uh oh. He heads outside, count outs legal in this match. Uh oh. Sit oh! And he tosses it back in now. Brutal. Oh, jeez. Blue red right of the face. What a and a spear out of nowhere. Is it enough? The cover two. No. no. Wow. How did Triple H survive that? Nothing can keep the game down. facing an even tougher level of opponent than usual tonight. Right now we're seeing how these men earn Ooh. the monikers, the game, and the big dog. Reigns and Triple H is a main event match any place, any time. And these two men are showing just why right now. And just look at the damage to Reigns' face. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, oh this is going to be fun. Come on, easy. Oh! Look Ooh. at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every Ooh. minute of it. And that Triple H. Oh, We're going to put him away. Pedigree! That could finish off Roman. Shoulder up before three. 
The tribal chief did right, yeah, fighting through it. You might not respect his methods, but you have to respect his determination. You can tell Triple H thought this one was over. The game is completely enraged right now. Uh-oh. And driven down with what a left to Triple H. He's in for it now. Spiked with a urinagi. Reigns heads up. This is going to be good. Uh -oh. Lift off. Oh, what an elbow. Oh, God. Oh, what? Paying the price of treating your own body like a human crash test dummy. Okay, for those that missed it, because my... Uh, I just want to do this with you because we did technically miss it. Here's that elbow drop right there that we just seen. Yeah, look how high he throws up in the air. He doesn't see, he just overshoots his jump. Yeah, he did not take too kindly to that at all. Yeah, that's going to be fun for him later. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, my God. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Uh-oh. Oh, God. oh what a super kick. Spirit of Triple H. Well, I tried it one more time, but I don't think he's going to give it to him. Go for the cover instead. And it's over. And all the bloodshed, perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. You hate to see it after a hard fight match they just couldn't seem to shut them up in this one it looks like the lack of respect will continue on for now i think a true mm. congratulations is in order sure they were disrespectful earlier but that clearly didn't hurt their game in fact if anything it might have given them more of that competitive edge honestly you might have a point there Corey. they clearly wanted it more here all right going over to the next match let's do this for him, I mean Muhammad Ali. Well, this man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. The all Bobby Lashley. Guys, Bobby Lashley has a physique that's carved out of marble. Yeah, Michael, when you look at Bobby Lashley, you see an absolute freak of nature. And it is almost impossible to stop this runaway train. Yep. That's why I say let's see how he does, because I'm curious to see how Muhammad Ali would do in a match against uh, Bobby Lashley. It's only a big matchup for him, I tell you that much. The Almighty does not fear the brutality of combat. Amateur mat, octagon, squared circle, hell in a cell, elimination chamber, Bobby Lashley will fight anywhere. Get ready because here he comes, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. And his opponent from Louisville, Kentucky, weighing in at 236 pounds, Muhammad Ali. Many consider Muhammad Ali to be the greatest heavyweight boxing champion of all time. Ali will need those skills that helped him reach such heights. Michael, just think of the range of opponents Ali's defeated. 
All different ages, heights and weights, fighting styles and backgrounds. Ali can adapt to any foe. Muhammad looks to be in fantastic physical condition. To his opponent, you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ali's gonna give the people what they've been waiting to see. Yeah, uh, we're, we're just have to wait and see how he does against Bobby Lashley. I tell you this much, I'm looking very much forward to Bobby it. Bobby Lashley is a decorated combat athlete whose power, technical prowess, and speed put him in the category all by himself. Lashley is lethal in so many types of situations. His ability to just power through the opposition can be kind of scary. No matter who you are or what the circumstance, Ooh. you can guarantee the Almighty will show no mercy. And in the far way. corner, in tremendous physical condition, stands the greatest. Ali's so skilled, he blends natural athleticism with jabs and combinations. Yeah, Ali is a true yeah. master of the sweet science and an incredible athlete. They'll open you up quickly and turn you into a punching bag. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. And finds a Ooh. counter. to the stomach. Oh, and a neck breaker. <laughs> That's going to be a bar. Got to look out for that right hook. A uh, reversal catches Ali. Got it. Any oh. for someone who finds himself. Bobby Lashley is going off on his man. Oh, some more drop. This as quickly as possible. Bobby has speed, strength. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. Incredible. Suicide dive. Do as much damage as possible. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, wait a minute. He Roll up. And for some reason, he stops the count. Because he's out of the ring, Byron, get his shit together. Oops. <laughs> he saw it was coming. Planted face Ooh. first. And Muhammad Ali's confidence was just kept in check. Yeah, this persists. It could be mission accomplished for Lashley. That's at a kind of five. Yeah. Trap the arm. Oh, oh nice GDT so by this uh, neck breaker, I should say, by this man. Oh, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Uh oh. Incoming. Boom. Oh. Attack after attack is smothering Muhammad Ali. It's got to be hard to be Ali right now. Oh boy. And Having a little bit of difficulty against this man as well. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, we're going to have a bit of a comeback going, I think. Cover. Oh, Muhammad Ali's got the shoulders down. Oh, he's 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 got Ali Benjamin Lashley knockout! Knockout punch to this man! Cover! Oh man! Lashley almost got beat by Muhammad Ali! Oh, he's got body here. shot there. This is where endurance becomes so important oh. in the stages of the match. Sleeper hold into a neck breaker or something there. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Elbow drop. Piercing. And for the, like, the first uh -oh. half of the match is all of right And knee. now it's just slowly but surely really the second half is becoming more Muhammad Ali. Blitzing Lashley with hard-hitting offense. Not trying to drag this match up. Uh-oh. Boom. Oh right out of the barricade. Uh-oh. Hoisted all the way up. Hoisted Ooh. all the Body, way uh, up and pow down. Powerbomb. Inflicting oh. more damage to the leg. Good buster. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. And he slides him back to the mat. Close 
Oh, God damn. Close line by Ali. As their opponent hooked a couple of jabs, placed it over into a suplex. He's going to the pin. This could be it. Hey, ref. Not the hook of the lane for Sven to the rope face, you dick. Put into the corner now. And able to counter. Cinching in the hurt line. Oh. It's cinched in deep. Oh, this one's over. Tap out coming. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Reversal. So that's him. Ooh. Now we're going back and forth between these two men. Now Muhammad Ali measuring largely. Don't knock that punch. That has to be no, not it. That may have, that should have, but it didn't. Elbow drop. Piercing. Ooh, sharp elbow. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, alley oop, cover. Stopping the ref's Ooh, carry two. Ooh, so two. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Attack right to the sternum. Hmm. Uh oh, we all know where this is going. Will it connect on him? And a spear! You can taste it now. Two! And he's still in the game. Oh, man. He has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing a whole saga written. How many elbow drops is this man going to do on this, on this Ali, this man? He could not deliver the final nail there. How much longer can these superstars continue to fend off defeat? Every obstacle has been met with equal measures of tenacity. It's going to take a lot to close this one out. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Uh-oh. Lashley creates an opening with a counter. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Attack after attack. Assuming Muhammad Ali crumble at the feet of the Almighty. Uh oh. And now thrown back into the ring. Oh, he could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Kicks out. Ooh. Obviously, still has some fight left. Blow to the abdomen Ooh. gets them out of there. Shot right in the chest, bro. Uh oh. Check And there you go, cover. Cover! There's two! Three. And they that's it. Right to be happy about the victory in this match. That. Hard fought as they come. Huge win. Yeah, Can we also... Wait a minute, wait a minute! Hang on. Uh-oh. <laughs> you can cut the tension in here with a knife. Almost want to say something, but I feel like if I say it, it's going to be a bit... Uh, What's the, what's the phrase I'm looking for? A bit insensitive toward Bray Wyatt, so I'm not going to say it. Because I don't want to offend anybody. I really don't. We're just going to move on, okay? All right, let's, let's just move on. <laughs>